Hey everyone, I'm uh, just going to record a quick uh, sort of daily update as to where things are going. This is going to be episode 3 of uh, Crowdfunding Comics for Creeps. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to have a lot of time to do editing and transferring files over from my phone to my computer and then uploading and uh, fighting with Whiteworks for 3 hours because I'm too cheap to pay for Adobe. Um, Anyway, I, uh, yeah, so currently we're sitting at, I believe, uh, 130%, uh, so we're up a little bit from where we were yesterday. Um, we're doing really, really well. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm now talking to some folks about doing a uh, podcast interview. Um, I'll let you all know, but we're talking about recording it next week, and I'll let you know when it goes up. Uh, secondly, I had two different people reach out uh, to see if they can do um, narrations of the story that I put up yesterday, the uh, uh, the man in my hall closet story. Um, that's a thing that happens quite a bit on the uh, No Sleep Forum. Um, there's you know people who write, people who post what they write, and then there are people who have YouTube channels where they basically read creepy pastas and like. Um, you know, spooky stories and things like that. And they'll, they'll reach out to you if you think they think your story's cool and they want to read it for their channel. And uh, yeah, I usually am kind of in the, kind of wanting to say yes. So uh, yeah, um, so I'll go ahead and I'll uh, probably put some links up to whomever puts my uh, stuff up there. I think um, in the next few weeks or so, I'll probably put up um, some links to Scarecrow Tales who have, written, or sorry, they have narrated some of the stuff that I've done before, uh, like the Sloth Man stories. Um, aside from that, I uh, wanted to just do another installment of like cool comics that have inspired me over the years. Um, this one's a recent uh, revival of a uh, comic series that I really, really used to love when I was first moving out on my own, you know, had my own disposable income as small as it was at the time. I was able to, like, buy comics. Uh, it went, you know, uh, the series ended for a while, and now it's back. Now this is more of a, uh, more of a horror comedy type comic. This one is called The Goon. It's sort of a mixture of the writer Eric Powell's influences, so you sort of get a uh, combination of Oh boy, um, Sin City-esque tough guys, film noir, and then um, gross monsters, and but also slapstick comedy. It's a series that takes its characters very seriously and none of its plot or events seriously whatsoever. So you get very, um, very uh, intense, tough characters thrown into utterly wacky situations and that's sort of the more like that's the satire that i like um when you're doing like funny especially i think currently there's like this push to not do not have anything take itself seriously and i feel like not taking yourself seriously as counterintuitive as this might feel not taking yourself seriously kind of ruins the um, the possibilities of comedy. I think back to like Airplane and Leslie Nielsen playing every line in that ridiculous script as being the most uh, serious thing he's ever said in his life. That's what made that movie. And I think that um, taking a, a, a little less like winking in your comedy and a little bit more sort of dedication to the bit might actually work out and like exhibit number exhibit a of that is you know the goon i have another issue of it down here because they released them like a week apart uh they actually released four before three uh actually that's five um but they're just a a beautiful collection of very very fantastic fantastically rendered Art. Um, he used to have very like a very painted style, and now they're going back to more of a sort of traditional comic coloring type style. It's very cartoony. It's if you like Mike Mignola's Hellboy comics, 
uh, and but you wish you know the the fun there were more funny parts to them you know it's Hellboy so there's a lot of funny parts to them um, the goon is definitely what you're looking for that's out coming out in I think it's called Albatross Press Albatross funny books um, they are they used to be published by Dark Horse and I think Eric Powell took that took it uh, completely creator owned con creator controlled. Um, yeah, so definitely check out The Goon if you are looking for good funny horror comics or good comedy comics with some monsters and gross zombies and stuff. And uh, yeah, if you uh, once again, if you haven't checked out the Kickstarter, please uh, do so. And uh, yeah, I'll be um, tonight I'm going out to see Brian Ferry, uh, formerly of Roxy Music. He's going to be doing the Avalon album in its entirety and probably some... Uh, probably some additional stuff on top of that. Um, and yeah, I think uh, over the next few days, I'm going to try to upload when I can, but there might be a lot of like vertical videos like this, which are kind of done on the fly with a lot less editing, uh, as, you know, as little as I edited before. And then probably get back to into the groove next week. Maybe I'll start <laughs> trying to up my production value a little bit. Maybe have some background music or something. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.